Okay, so I've been interacting about with, on this video here. <clears throat> I guess this guy's name is Ricky Guevara or something like that. He's a comedian and he's a very outspoken atheist and he basically just hates God so much that if he didn't believe there was a God, then why would he be, why would it matter to him so much that he has to passionately hate God and think of all of the worst possible reasons why God couldn't exist. <clears throat> and so one of them, the people like to quote, like, in the, during the Holocaust, there was someone that said, um, I don't believe in God because God wasn't here in the Holocaust, you know, so. And the Holocaust was a horrible thing, and humanity suffered and inflicted suffering on other humans and should never have happened. It's, in my opinion, the ultimate end of politics is when you, like, you know, um, I believe politics are organized hate groups and uh, and you know human nature is <clears throat> is flawed and we've seen so many examples of what goes wrong but the f mistake here <clears throat> that he always makes that atheists always make is they blame god for what we have done as humanity so i'll just play this real quick interesting joke so a holocaust survivor eventually dies of old age and goes to heaven and he, he meets god and he tells god a holocaust joke and god goes that's not funny and he says i guess you have to be there so his point is that there is no god because he doesn't believe in god first off first of all and second of all he uses human suffering and somewhat suffering in general to um <clears throat> to try to use this evidence that there is no god which is putting the responsibility of our failures of failures of humanity on god which if you want to do a bunch of mind tricks acrobatics Okay, ultimately, God is responsible for everything that's happened they, with his creation. However, God made the universe, the earth, and humanity perfect. And it was never his intention for things to go as wrong as they did. But there had to be the risk <clears throat> for us to, to screw up, or there would be no reward of us being as... Like having his love, loving him and loving him, loving us back. You know, it's because if they're so he gave Adam and Eve the choice, humanity. <clears throat> he gave him gave us a test and it was all set up for us to live perfectly forever in a perfect earth, perfectly healthy. in a like a spiritual relationship with God that, you know, you didn't really need the fruit of of life because direct present with God would keep you alive forever. <clears throat> but we failed. And Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden and spiritually they were cut off from God. They died spiritually. And since they did the whole shipwreck of humanity, they shipwrecked us all together because they got us kicked out of the Garden of Eden and they broke our relationship with God. So now we're all born outside of a relationship with God. <clears throat> and we can't have one unless someone um, pays for the mistakes, which was the whole point of Christ. <clears throat> and then, not only did Adam and Eve screw up, but after there was more humans... Humanity got really, really, really bad. And I I believe even worse than it was during the Holocaust. So God felt bad for making us. So he decided, he was like, you know what, I'm just going to reset. Just get rid of all of it. But one person, Noah, 
Guy's like, you know what? This guy's cool. I like him. I'm going to give him a break. So he goes to Noah and tells him, like, look, man, build a boat. Build it like this. Bring your family with you, and I'll bring all the animals, and there's going to be a flood. And it's going to get rid of everybody. <clears throat> and everybody had a chance. Noah preached the whole time to everybody. And they all just came and made fun of him. So everyone had a chance. But God made... When the floods came, there was before the flood a canopy around the earth of water protecting the earth from solar radiation so we could live longer, so <clears throat> we could do more. So there was giant animals and humans and trees, and <clears throat> it was perfect. But all the waters came down and also from under the ground, and there was a massive flood. And since then, well, first of all, before the flood, we... All of humanity, we corrupted our genetics. We corrupted all of our flesh. And then, added to that, <clears throat> we no longer have the protection from the canopy over the earth of water, a ring. So now our genetics are damaged, and then you have babies born with cancer. So it's it goes back to our mistake, not to, what, to the perfect world God gave us. He gave it to us, gave us responsibility, and we screwed it up. And people like... Ricky here like to blame God for our mistakes instead of just owning it and then you can start from there and build a relationship with God and say look yeah I'm screwed up I was born in this mess that my great-grandparents Adam and Eve made <clears throat> and I need help to get out of it instead he just hates God passionately you know and is also bring drawing people away from a possible relationship with God with all of the crap that's in his head and the hate and evilness. So, <clears throat> this person, so they have this, that's a video, right, from Ricky. This is the page that posted that video, and I've been commenting and having conversation with people under that video, of course, defending the truth of God and righteousness and God's love and the horrors that humanity has inflicted on itself through things like the Holocaust. And this person is deleting all, all of my comments. Instead of having a conversation about it, they just don't want to hear, you know, that maybe... It's Ian. Ian is a, is a man's name, so we, I don't know who Ian is here, but it's Ian D. Third generation Rhodesian Australian traveler. So I, they just randomly came up on my... my feed on my superhero page but uh i just wanted to comment on that i mean if they have nothing to worry about you know if they have if their position of hating god is like god doesn't exist then why is it a threat for me to make comments and share my experience with my relationship with god you know like the miracles he's done in my life for example giving us a child when the medical science said we couldn't have a child. My dad prayed for us, the church prayed for us, and Shazam, we had a child. You know, answer to prayer, direct, That's and that's not like the only thing God has answered to prayer in my life. That's just one perfect example, you know. But God was, in fact, there during the Holocaust. World War II, people were praying to God and having church services. He probably wasn't in that person's heart because they didn't let him in, so... Maybe that is why this person believed that God wasn't there because, you know, his heart was closed off to him. But God is always there, and you know, only have to open your heart, and he'll come in. And I think this person needs to learn that, you know, instead of just hiding from the truth and trying to hide the truth from other people by deleting my comments. I mean, I don't care if they delete my comments, you know. I don't need to prove anything to this person. But it's just strange that you put out a, a you know, a, I think this is the most a video like this, the very strong statement by a person that is pretty much world known as an atheist and hating a god. And you can't, E and D, of course I think about it. I, I mean, I always have these, you know, discussions with people all the time. You know, I'm like, don't go looking to share my faith with people. I mean, I'm supposed to as a Christian, but I don't go looking for arguments. But, I mean, I'd be 
chilling, minding my own business, not saying anything, and the people ask, they want to know my name and everything, and they're like, yeah, my name is, you know, and then they ask, somehow it comes out that my father's a preacher, and then they're like, oh yeah, I, I don't believe in God, or whatever, and then I can sneeze, and they're just like, God bless you, I'm like, okay, well, that was easy to make a convert, all I had to do was sneeze, <clears throat> anyway, so, 10 minute video to make a statement about this person, Ian D., that doesn't really want a conversation. I don't know which one of these three people is Ian, and I don't really care to look through their account to to find it. They don't, they pretty much, it's all closed off, so they don't, I don't know who it is. I don't care, it just randomly came up. But I just think that's weird that person doesn't want to have a conversation and deletes comments, you know? And all, the, all I'm saying, have done is said what I've already said here is that you know, humanity failed. God didn't. God made us perfect. God made the earth perfect. He gave it to us, you know, and we screwed it up. He gave us free will, hoping that we would make the right choice. We didn't, but he came personally to help us, you know, to help us so we can, you know, have love, love him, be loved by him. It's what's the best thing. There's nothing better than God's love. But people are too busy. I think this is the most rejecting God's love and hating God to open up their heart and let it let, let him in. You know, it's just it's not that hard, and there's no reason to be so hateful to the Creator that gave us life, gave us responsibility for this world, and we screwed it up, and we still screw it up today. You know. It's not God's fault. <clears throat> it's ours. He tried to do something wonderful. He still did manage to do something wonderful through Christ that even though we screwed it up, he helped us that we can clean it up. You know, but unfortunately not everyone's going to make the right choice. And, and this guy, Ricky, I don't think he's a person that's ever even going to make it to heaven because he is so against God that he doesn't, there's, he doesn't, you know, he's not going to make it. I hate to say that about somebody, but the road he's on, he's not going to ever find God's love or peace or happiness. I mean, I like some of his work I've, he's seen, you know, I think he's entertaining. But I, it's just very sad and unfortunate that he is so blind, self, he blinds himself and closes his heart to even the possibility of God's love, you know. And then other people like this person, E.N.D., they... You know, they agree with that, and they're also, you know, not going to find their way, unfortunately.